So a lot of you want to know the signs of a toxic narcissistic content creator here on TikTok. So I can spot them very easily and I usually just silently block them because if I had all the time in the day to expose everyone who I felt was a narcissist, I would be exhausted from the video responses. I would get attacked nonstop. So what I do is silently block, okay? Unless somebody outright comes for me, I'll step out and say something. But nine times out of 10, if I feel it's not worth it, I just I just don't respond. I just silently block and I move on. But I'm here to help y'all, you know, raise your discernment. Because especially in the black community, there are so many black TikTok content creators that are toxic. I mean, they're like cancer in this community. They scam, they grift, they take advantage of the TikTok creator um, funds. You know, that's where TikTok pays you. The more views you get on your videos, TikTok will pay you once a month for it. So these narcissistic personalities, these toxic personalities hiding behind these, these um, TikTok accounts, these content creators, they have found a way to um, gauge their audience and, and get an emotional response out of people to up the views on their videos, basically to get more money. They're, they're money hungry, they're money driven, but they really don't give a fuck about people, okay? So I'm going to explain how you can spot a toxic narcissistic content creator so that you can block them, unfollow them, don't support them, don't help them get their views up, you know, and spread the word, okay? If you've ever been in a romantic relationship with a narcissist, there is an abuse cycle that is textbook. It's right out of the narcissist playbook. There are three levels of the abuse cycle. It is the first cycle. The first step is love bombing. The second step is idolization. Actually it's four. Um, love bomb, I idealization, um, devaluation, and then discard. So basically if you've been in a relationship with a, with a narcissist romantically, they have to love bomb you. The love bombing is to get you to fall in love with them and to drop your guard and to trust in, in, in that individual. You open yourself up, you become vulnerable after the narcissist uh, uh, love bombs you, buys you gifts, gives you lots and lots of sex, love, affection. You get to meet the family, you know, all types of wonderful lovey-dovey stuff. But love bombing is an abuse tactic. It's not genuine. The narcissist has to put you up on a pedestal before kicking you off. So that's what the love bombing is for, okay? And you know, once the love bombing has set in and you've fallen in love, the narcissist will begin the process of devaluing you behind closed doors. The narcissist will stop slowly but surely, stop love bombing, stop buying you gifts, stop praising you. And, and the narcissist will start to chip away at your self-esteem, start to compare you to other people, other women, um, stop you from dressing nice, be overly controlling, isolate you from your friends and family so you have no support. The process of devaluation is so strategic and calculated and they do it behind closed doors when nobody can see it. So you slowly lose sight of yourself. So that's how I identify narcissists narcissist in a romantic relationship. You have to watch for the switch up. They always switch up. And where women fuck up, women stay longer because they're trauma bonded. The moment that a motherfucker switches up on you, you are to leave. Cut them off, leave. You do not tolerate anybody switching up on you. So how does this relate to toxic content creators here on TikTok? Well, it's the same thing, okay? What these narcissistic TikTok content creators will do is they mix truth with toxicity in order to build their audience. They are passive aggressive, okay? So Kevin Samuels did it. A lot of narcissists do it on here. They all do it. Now me and my content, I've been doing this for a long time. I started my YouTube channel like seven years ago. Spiritual whistleblower, it has remained consistent. You'll never see me switch up. You'll never see me not talk about narcissistic abuse. Um, you'll also see me living my life. I try to post examples of self-care. You can stay single and happy and enjoy your hobbies. I post my hobbies. I post me living and enjoying my life as a single woman. So I don't just talk the talk. I walk the walk and I share with my audience. I'm extremely transparent. So narcissists are not, um, they're not consistent with their content. 
the narcissist has to build up their TikTok page by gaining the trust. In a sense, they have to love bomb people to build their audience. They're wearing a mask when they initially start their, their, their pages and build their platforms. So initially you're going to think they're a good person because their content has, you know, it seems like it's full of integrity and this person has a moral compass. They're all good. This is how the narcissist attracts good people to their content. They're wearing a mask and they're basically love bombing. It's the same thing in romantic relationships. The narcissist on TikTok is going to do the same thing. He, he or she has to build their audience. So they have to lie and pretend that they're actually good people in order to attract good people. <sighs> Once the audience has been established and it's a nice size, then the narcissist, the content creator can relax and remove the mask. And what happens when the mask slips, their true colors shine through their content. Their toxicity starts to seep through their content, but they don't care by that time because they've built their audience. You gotta look for the switch up, okay? A narcissistic content creator um, their vibes, their energy, um, their demeanor switches up once they feel they've established a big audience. And at that point, they don't care about the toxicity because they're getting paid. You've helped them get money from, from TikTok now. Their audience has been established. So you got to remember with a the narcissist, they cannot consistently be good people. They can only pretend and wear the mask for so long before they go back to their toxic baseline behavior. Pay attention in this community. We have a lot of them on this app and their toxicity will bleed through their content if you pay attention. It's not hard, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. I hope I've helped you raise your discernment.